Following on from the previous video, we used Riemann's upper sum to show that our, our partial series, our partial series from 1 to, uh, to n is bigger or equal to this thing here. So now we need to use Riemann's lower sum. The idea here is to trap our, our, our partial series in between, in between two things, in between another thing here. And, that, and then later on we can make use of this to, uh, to prove our theorem. Now, well, using Riemann's upper sum, we, we came to the conclusion that this thing here must be bigger or equal to this thing here. So now let's use Riemann's lower sum. So using Riemann's lower sum, um, hang on. So using Riemann's lower sum, remember this area here would be u. Um, well, using Riemann's lower sum, it would be this. You put into the function, you would jump to here, and then you times 1. The width of one. So this area here is actually u putting two. Well, don't forget this. This here is uh, is a for for the sequence. This here is a one. This here is a two. This here is is uh, a three. Um, well, this area here would be u putting the two into the function. That that would then give you a two. Then a two times the width of one. So this area here is actually a two. So so using Riemann's lower sum. The, uh, that will, that will then give us the, uh, this term here. And then this area here will then give us this term, uh, A3. You see, the downside of using Riemann's, uh, lower sum is that we, we miss out our first term, A1. But, uh, we, we will sort this out later. So, so using Riemann's lower sum, um, the, uh, that will then give us this. And then the very last rectangle here will be, will be this thing here. Well, the very last one will be n, don't forget. You put n into the function. So this thing here will be a capital N, and then you times the width of, of 1. So this area here is actually a n. So, uh, so this area here is a n. You see the downside of Riemann's lower sums that we miss out, um, a, 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 a1. The, the downside of using upper, the upper one, the, uh, the upper, the upper ones that we miss out the, uh, the, the a n term. So using the upper one, we, we miss out, we miss out a n. But using the, the lo Riemann's lower sum, we miss out, um, we will miss out a one. Well, so, so far, so far, all the, all, all the, uh, rectangles from, from the first one to the last one is given by this. Well, the, 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 um, the, the area of all the rectangles must be smaller or equal to to the area underneath the underneath the function. So for this thing here, from one to n, from one to to the very last one, n here. So this this area here, the integral. Don't forget, you've got to look at the the red line here. So uh, so that's this area here. That's the area here. So so the area here must be bigger or equal to to all the all the rectangles from here to here, because you can see. The, all, all the all the rectangles are below the function, so the area underneath the function must be bigger or equal to to um, to, to to all the areas of, of the uh, of all the rectangles. Now, now that we're here, uh, what what we do now that we're here, add add a one equal to so on this side add a one on this side add a a one, uh, and and the reason you can do that is because of this. Um, so currently this thing here. Rep will represent this, this thing here will represent this, this thing here will represent this, and so on. Um, so when you come to add a1, well a1 is really you putting 1 into the function, that will then jump jump to here, and then that, that will be that will be this area here. So this area is, is going to be a, a number, a finite number, so you, you're going to add a1 here. So on this side, add the same amount, a1 here. Even if a function's weird, even if a function is weird, let's say something like this, your a1, well put 1 into the function, that will then jump to here, and then the, you see a1 still exists, it's this area here, and, and it's, there, there, there's, it, it doesn't diverge, it doesn't, well, this, it doesn't diverge or anything, it's just a number, so, so this thing here, uh, so, so, here so add equally to both sides, that will then give you this, so we've got a whole, a whole partial partial series from one all the way to n without without us missing the one or without us missing the a n. So so now now this is a whole a, a whole a whole from one all the way to n. So so this thing here is this thing here. 
So now we, we can track. So now we're going to track our, our partial series. This is our partial series from 1 all the way to n. So using um so 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 this will so this is the uh, what we uh, the, the partial series is less than or equal to this thing here. So so using Riemann sum, we've got this thing here, which is this, must be less than or equal to must be less than or equal to this thing here, this thing here. And then all the way from above, all the way from above, earlier we said that um uh, our partial series must be greater or equal to 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 this thing here by using Riemann's. So so using Riemann's upper sum in the previous video we showed this. In this video we we've just showed here that we've just showed this. In the previous video we just showed this. So now combining the two, our partial series must be trapped in between here and in between here. Okay, I I will continue in the next video.